So um, we're updating the automotive program into the 21st century with the latest and greatest in chassis dynamometers. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy this next video, but before that, please subscribe, like us, give us a thumbs up, share our videos. Thanks. Hi, my name is Greg Newman. I own this 1967 Dodge Cornet RT with the 426 Hemi. There were 283 of them made, 162 automatics. Uh, I had the car, I bought it in 1990, and in 2016, I sent it to Muscle Car Restorations up in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin to redo it. When I bought the car, it had 8,023 miles on it, and it's got 12,300 now. I bought it from a guy in Georgia, and the history of the car was the original owner sold it in 1976, and I met him and he sold the car to a used car lot, Unique Motors in Rockford. He sold it to a, a, a museum in Arizona. They had the car till 1985 and they put it in the Barrett Jackson auction and it sold for 10.5 in 1985. And it had 4,600 miles in. The, uh, the guy in Georgia kept it till 1990, and that's when I bought it. He put it up for sale. He was moving, and I've talked to him. And when I had the car restored in 2016, I wasn't going to go as far as I did, but I had the entire car redone. Uh, the engine dynoed out at 488 horse. The Hemis were rated at 425, which was underrated. But I've been totally happy with the car and at the Muscle Car Nationals it took 986 points out of a thousand in the, the day two concours. And how long did the restoration take? Just over a year. And I added a lot of things from what we originally wanted or what I originally wanted. So how did you decide on the restoration shop? I had seen a car that they had done. It was a Speenwood Automotive Hemi Dart, the 1968 Dart. And it was parked in a, a barn by my house. And when I saw that car, I decided that's who's gonna do my car. Right, right. The interior on the car is still original. Uh, uh, the only thing that's changed on the interior is the steering wheel. Uh -huh. And I like that wood grain look better than the black steering wheel. Yeah, that's where seats, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, look at that, look at that. I mean, this thing is like, it's just how the showroom is real. That is so yeah. sweet. How's the car to drive? As long as you don't hit curves, <laughs> it handles fine. There is no power steering. Okay. It's power disc brakes. And, uh... Can you open up the door for a moment? Sure. Parking it is a real pain without the power steering. Right, right. Yeah, I remember those days. And you have the, uh, the toe kicker for the headlights down there? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, now, the, the tacking gauges aren't original. Uh, right. They were added by the original owner. Actually, looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Okay, so now, then we see the engine. Yes. Possible? Seven or 66? Seven. Seven. Was the first year of the RT. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Very, very nice. So tell, tell the viewers what we're looking at here. Okay, this is a 426 Hemi from the factory. They were rated at uh, 425 horsepower, 490 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's got power disc brakes, two four barrels, yeah. uh, no power steering. Um, and look at the condition of this, this bay. I mean, it just, it, it's better than a showroom new. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, you dust it off every now and then and it, uh, it's pretty easy. I had a reproduction battery in there for a while. Right, right. And 
It was a, almost a $400 battery and it lasted six months. Of course, of course. <laughs> I've still got the battery. If I go to a concourse show, I can put it in there, right, but it right, doesn't work. Right. This is so nice. That is so nice. Can we hear how the car sounds? Sure. Shut it off. We're looking at. This is uh, a reproduction window sticker of uh, the original window sticker. Right. I've got the original at home or a copy right, of it. Right. And the car went for 43 44 and 50 cents. <laughs> uh, one of the unusual features on the car are shoulder belts. Oh, really? And oh. That was an option, and they come from between the cushions. Oh, wow, wow. Look at that. Look at that. They come from between the cushions. This goes around you and it bolts to the other side on the drive shaft hump. That is amazing. Sure. Oh, I think it's locked. One second. The trunk is still original. I didn't do anything with that. If if you look underneath here on the upper side in the trunk you will see the original owner he autographed it and it says melvin wilson 1967 to 1976 and when i called him up he says if you want to verify that that was my car look in the trunk and i said i've already seen it he died a few years ago his brother is still living he called him up and from the video he he saw the car in Belvedere in 2019, and he said, it's better than when it was new. Right, right, right. Thank you for showing my car. Show us all your friends. It'll be on Facebook, on YouTube. Thanks for watching U.S. Classic Muscle Cars.